Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to change the default format for screenshots in Mac OS X. So when you take a screenshot in Mac OS X, you can achieve this by holding down Command and Shift and tapping 3. And once you take your screenshot, you're going to notice that if you right click on the screenshot and click Get Info, the default format for the screenshot is a PNG file. Now PNGs are fine and everything, uh, but the problem with them is that the file sizes are always extremely big. So you can see here that this one screenshot of my desktop is 5.5 megabytes, which is pretty ridiculous in my opinion. And I would much rather have a JPEG screenshot and those file sizes are a lot smaller. Now unfortunately the only way I've found that works that lets you change the screenshot format is going through Terminal. I've tried some third-party applications that they've never worked for me. So unfortunately we're gonna have to use Terminal for this one, uh, but It'll be worth it if you want to decrease your file sizes if you take a lot of screenshots like I do. So you're going to have to launch up Terminal. Now an easy way to do this is to go into your Applications folder in the New Finder window and then scroll down to Utilities and go into your Utilities folder and from there you should find the application Terminal. So what you're going to have to do is type in this string of text that I'll both show you and that string of text will be right below the video if you just want to copy and paste it. So what you're going to have to write is default space write space com dot apple dot screen capture space and then type space and then here's where you're going to want to enter your screen capture format. In this case I want to make it a JPEG so I'm going to type JPG and then I'm going to hit enter and then you'll just see the prompt again so after that you want to type kill all as one word and then system with capital S and then without a space UI both capital and then no space again server with a capital S and then hit enter and it looks like I just spelled it wrong there so let's try that again so now when I go back and take a screenshot I'm going to hold down command and shift and hit 3 now, when I right-click on this and hit Get Info, you can see that the screenshot is now only 848 kilobytes, which is quite a bit smaller and a lot more manageable in my opinion. Now, the nice thing about this is you can use other formats other than a JPEG as well. For example, I can type in the exact same thing, but instead of JPG for the type, I'm going to type PDF. And then I'm going to kill all system UI server again. And then now if I take a screenshot, you can see if I hit get info, the screenshot is a PDF. Now, of course, this PDF is rather large. It's 7.6 megabytes. Uh, but if you want a PDF for some reason, uh, there you go. And now you have a PDF screenshot. So that's kind of interesting. Now this works with not only JPEGs and PDFs, but pretty much every other image format that you'd want to save it as as well. Now, last but not least, if you don't want to use the default PNG format and you don't want to work with Terminal, if you go and open a Finder window and go into your Applications folder, Utilities once again, and you open up Grab, which is a screen capture utility that's bundled with OS X, and you go up to the Capture menu, and we'll just click Window for this one, and uh, I'll just choose this Finder window. Now, this screenshot format, if I go up to the File menu and click Save, you can see that the default format is .tiff, a TIFF file. Now, if you try to change the format of this, if I go JPG, and I click Save, it's going to give me an error, or a warning rather, and I have to use .tiff. So if you want to save your files as that format, using Grab is probably the easiest way to go. So that's how you can change your default screenshot format type in Mac OS X. Now, if you have anything you'd like to see me a video how-to on, make sure to send me an email. This video was actually suggested by a reader, as a matter of fact. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.